Have you ever felt that your mind was restless, unsteady, difficult to control, and that you are all over the place? Well, welcome to the nature of the mind. According to yoga, our mind is restless. You can never fix the mind by the mind itself. You need to just see the mind and let the mind be. And when you find an anchor in something else, in an inner witness, an inner perceiver, then the mind will heal from its imbalances. The practice of Japa is one or many practices of yoga to bring about greater stability of mind. The practice of Japa involves repeating a mantra many times, again and again, simply to catch hold of the mind hold it in one place and just experience that you keep one focused attention to one place in the mind where you find that inner vibration and resonance. Japa means jayate payate, that which conquers and that which protects. That which conquers our unruly restless tendencies and protects us from keeping our mind stable and calm. Now a mantra may be just simple, simply one syllable like Om or many syllables. So the most basic mantra we will start with is just Om Gam. It's much to say about the meaning of Om and Gam, but short, it means moving from unclarity to greater clarity. From a state of fluctuations to a state of stability and calm. That's the meaning of Om Gam. And simply try to repeat this and give all your attention to that internal sound that you hear. In the beginning, you start with a sound, then you whisper, and then you just do it mentally. And after some time, when you become steady in your Japa practice, all you do it is mentally. There's no need to make noise and be loud. It's how you kind of find that target from within that makes all the difference. Okay? So let's try together. If you have a Japa Mala, have one. If you're not, you can count on the finger or just simply repeat the sound. But having a Japa Mala make, helps you keep check of how many rounds, how many repetitions you do. And in the kind of Japa practice, it is said that you should do a few hundred thousand mantras before you move on to the next step. Om Gam, at least 500,000, then Om Gam Ganapati Yenamaha, 800,000, and Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Glaum Gam Ganapati Yevaravarada Sarvajaname Mashamani Asvaha, many, many hundred thousands. Okay? So that's the kind of step by step approach in Japa to Ganesha. For beginners, Om Gam is more than enough simply to catch hold of the mind. Try to do this one, three, five, ten rounds every day. Start with three ohms, end with three ohms, and just simply enjoy that inner stability. Three ohms. Om. Then you take your Japa Mala between your middle finger and index finger and you pull with your thumb one bead at a time or one seed at a time. Once you have done one round and you come back to this tusk, or it's called Mount Meru, you turn once and you're ready to start another round. Okay? Let's try together. Om Gam 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 Om 
Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam Om Kam And when you've done 108, you can continue for another round and another round. And once you're done, you just close. You can do three ohm. Practice of yoga takes time. Changing the patterns in the mind takes a long time. Feel what it means when you do a practice over a longer period of time uninterruptedly with a steady focus, what kind of results that are given the mind. It's a pleasurable experience and I wish you will have that experience. 
Thank you.